This person is literally saying somebody lied to her and so she is not choosing to use this account. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is Kevin Thompson. And if you want the truth about making money online, then you should probably subscribe below. Today, we're going to be working on a site that you could supposedly make up to $150 per hour. It is a worldwide site. So for those of you who don't live in the US, you could also do this. But let's get right into it. What is the site called? How does it look? How does it work? I'm also going to show you how to read this site so that you guys can make better decisions on whether or not you want to go forward with a site like this. So the site is called respondent.io. And as we can see, uh, we are going to be working with companies uh, to basically give them information that will help their brand. What I was saying a minute ago, okay, make sure you read into the site. This site is advertising for the buyer. All of the stuff pretty much that is gonna be on this front page is gonna be information for somebody who's looking to come on here and spend money. Since we are coming on here to make money, okay, we gotta be very careful of all the reviews that we read because if the site is promoting buyers, when we go to these review sites, we have to be careful if they have four stars, it might be for a buyer and not actually a seller, which we are, okay, we're gonna be selling our time and making money on this site. These are just a couple example profiles. So this is gonna be us, okay? So we are going to market ourselves. We don't have to say that we're, you know, these super top positions. We're just ordinary people. Depending on our qualifications, we are going to be qualified based on, okay, what kind of certificates or experience or knowledge that we have. These are all the different types of categories that you could be making money in. So you could be doing research, okay? You could be doing, you know, different types of surveys. Basically, you are going to be answering anything that would help a company propel themselves forward, all right? And these companies are huge, so they're gonna be paying you big bucks just for doing simple tasks, okay? So as we can see, this site is meant for buyers. So it's saying post a project invite and schedule so all of this information we don't really care about we are going to be the ones getting invited to projects all right we are going to be the ones uh, answering the questions or doing the surveys and anything that helps the brand out okay and then we are going to get paid one of the great things that i like about this site even though i don't like the fact that people invite you on other sites that we review so check out my make money online playlist a lot of other sites that we review we can actually go after the jobs and invite ourselves towards the job so we can get a better idea of uh, you know how much control we have over getting an actual position you know the more jobs you apply to the better but if we're on a site like this and maybe we don't have so much experience it's going to be hard for us to actually get these jobs because we have to depend on somebody else actually hiring us just like in the real world so um, this definitely could be a side gig i don't know about making it a main gig i would probably actually get on here and then let's pay attention to the fifth step here it says keep the respondents you like. So that's what I like about this site, okay? If you do a good job for a company, they'll probably rehire you just because it's easier. They don't have to go out and find people that are gonna give them you know, what they're looking for. It would be best for you to do as good a job as you can, okay? This is not like a, a random survey site where you have to answer 100 questions for a dollar, okay? You might wanna do your best on here because you're gonna be getting paid $100, maybe even $200, and then the lifetime value okay of the amount of money that you can make on here will go up because companies will rehire you so you won't have to always wait for that invite so it's like a lot of these freelancer sites okay once you do a good job for a customer they're probably going to rehire you and the more you rehire the better stars you get the better ratings you'll get and we'll see once we get into an account and then other companies will see hey this person is doing a good job okay let's hire them let's just see down here so we could see um, the different incentives so depending on what the company wants to do they will be charged a transaction fee but we don't have to worry about the fee all right we want to worry about the incentive so uh, like I said that hundred dollars um, in the video that I'm reviewing they said hundred and fifty dollars but we could probably expect somewhere around a hundred dollars these are just a few of the brands that they've worked with GoDaddy that is the website company so if you don't know what that is you should probably you know study a little bit more of internet marketing and making money online Squarespace also uh, a beginner friendly site where you could create a website they have Airbnb as well on here so let's get started and when we click get started this is very important because we want to make sure we're signing up for the right account since we want to get paid all right we're gonna sign up as a participant okay so let's see what that process looks like as a participant you're gonna enter your name 
first name, last name, email address, or you could continue with LinkedIn if you have a LinkedIn account. So I'm actually gonna quickly make an account and then I'm gonna show you guys inside and what that looks like. All right, so once you're in, they're gonna ask for your birthday. You have to be 18 to do this site. So hopefully you guys are around that age, if not older. All right, and then they're gonna ask for your demographics. So I'm just gonna fill out uh, some of mine here. So I'm just gonna go with that. Now you wanna enter the city that you're in. I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure this is virtual. So I don't know why they're asking for the city. Like it really matters. Maybe it's for some analytics. Hopefully we are not being matched to uh, the places that are in our city because some of you guys may live in small towns. You may live somewhere where, you know, respondent uh, doesn't have a headquarters or, or anything for you to do. So hopefully that doesn't really matter too much. After you go through all the employment questions, then they'll ask for your PayPal email. So this is how you'll get paid. Then you'll go over, you know, a quick set of terms that you just want to read over real quick. That process probably took me just about five minutes, maybe just over five minutes. So let's sign into the account real quick and let's see what it looks like so now that we're all signed in this is what we can see that will pop up as I'm on the site and I'm inside they're asking me all of the information that they literally just asked me so I'm not gonna go through this five-minute process again so sorry about that if you actually wanted to see inside let's go and check out the reviews uh, that kind of made me mad I would not even want to use the site anymore if I was you guys as soon as I typed in the reviews it says it is legit um, it won't replace your job, but it's a nice uh, supplemental income. So if you are looking for a side gig, this will probably be it. If you are even somewhere in another country where U.S. currency is worth more, you could probably be making a lot of money, uh, you know, in your country just with this site. Okay, so let's see if we can find, uh, you know, Trustpilot here. Let's go on Trustpilot. Um, so as we can see, that is 1.8 stars. So let me just show you guys real quick the differences between these sites and, and how people review these. G2 is having a 4.5, but if we're on Trustpilot, it's only giving a 1.8, okay? So that's mostly bad. Um, thanks, no thanks. After reading the comments, the one star aiding, I decided not to apply, okay? They were recommended by a work home YouTuber. So glad I did my due diligence. So guys, like, like I'm saying, all of these videos, these people will lie to you. This person is literally saying somebody lied to her and so she is not choosing to use this account. Let me know if you guys have any more sites in mind that you want me to review. A lot of these people that you will hear from, they keep redoing the same site. I'll probably be redoing this site another you know, five to 10 times on this channel within the year just because all of these sites are the same. People are recycling through these. They're pretty much doing the same videos but doing them in another way. And um, you guys seem to click on them every time. So um, I'm hoping that these videos are giving you a little bit of light. I had someone on my channel come from the Wesley Virgin video, which many of you probably have come from. And she told me, great job. Uh, you should expose more scammers. And that is what I'm doing now. I told her to watch my videos. I don't think she has. So, um, you know, if you guys are coming from that video, you could see that I've, you know, kept this brand of being truthful about making money online. So um, let's just see what else they're saying here. Filled up 16 screeners. Uh, not really sure what that means. No survey qualifications. So uh, this probably is hard for somebody who has no experience, no qualifications. In that case, just from this one comment of, you know, having no qualifications. And I think they're they're saying, uh, you know, what I think they're saying. OK, couldn't qualify uh, for surveys da, da, da. I've been two, three years. So this person has been on this site as a user, as a participant for two to three years and still hasn't been hired. So these companies, they're probably picking people with big qualifications and then they're probably reusing those people. So if you don't get those first couple surveys and you don't get that momentum for whatever reason, it's probably gonna be hard for you and harder and harder and harder to earn on this site since pretty much everyone is coming on here and if you have no qualifications, which maybe a majority of people don't, okay, then it's probably gonna be more difficult for you to actually do something like this. So would I lie? Probably not. I wouldn't lie just to get this job. Unless you worked at a place, and I'm not recommending this, but I know some of you guys are kind of desperate. Unless you maybe worked at a place and you were able to kind of peek into those seniority levels and you know you know what that job entails then maybe i'd say hey i work in this industry keep your same industry but say that you worked in a higher position just so that you could get these jobs online i don't think they're really checking for everyone so um, it'd probably be pretty easy to lie so um, but you know just from this comment alone 
somebody as a beginner you know these videos that I do are for beginners all of the reviews that I do from all of these people that make these types of videos these are beginner videos okay and there's so many reasons why you know beginner videos wouldn't work but particularly this site is not even due to traffic which most of the ways you can't make money are because of traffic this site particularly has to do with your experience level I've also seen sites where people have experience and they still find it hard to get those jobs there was like a marketing site that we did mind sumo and uh, maybe I'll put that video up for you guys uh, that site the girl that we reviewed that we seen her review she said that she was a marketing expert and still could not get a job with that site so um, you know I think these sites are a little bit more difficult to get jobs I can never tell because I'll never do a review of every single site where I make an account and try because that just takes too much time I wouldn't be able to make content like this for you guys and do other things as well and just live my life in general so let me know what you guys think about these videos um, you know I make these videos every day but I just wonder what you guys think do you guys get tired of it do you want me to you know kind of keep exposing these sites let me know what you want me to do probably gonna keep continue to do this because this is what you guys want to see obviously um, you know I want to do what I want to do I want to tell the truth but I also want to make content that you guys are gonna watch that's gonna be it for this video hope this served you well I will see you in the next one stay up guys peace